In this video, we're going to be learning about two types of compounds that are commonly talked about in chemistry, that being acids such as HCl and bases such as NaOH. So the definition of acids and bases is based on what happens when we put them into water. So for example, when we put an acid like HCl into water, the hydrogen, the H plus ion that is on its structure separates and we end up with HCl becoming H plus and Cl minus. So the two atoms form separate ions from each other and the H plus being there is what makes HCl an acid. Conversely, when we put bases into water, we can see that NaOH does not contain a hydrogen by itself. Bases are compounds that lose an OH minus from their structure when added to water. So in water, NaOH would separate into a sodium ion and the polyatomic ion hydroxide. And the fact that the hydroxide is there is what makes NaOH a base. Now, in terms of recognizing when a compound is an acid or a base in day-to-day -day life, obviously we can't look at its chemical structure because we can't see atoms, so instead we can use a bunch of characteristics in order to identify them. For example, many acids that you actually encounter in day-to-day -day life are actually in food. So food that has a sour taste to it indicates that you're eating an acid, whereas bases usually have a bitter taste to them. Uh, many bases are very, very deadly poisons, but there are some bases that can be consumed in small amounts and usually have a bitter taste. Now, a common example of an acid is lemon juice or the juice that occurs from citrus fruits. And if you get this on your hands, you can feel that it feels very sticky in your hands. Uh, a common example of a base that we put on your hands is actually hand soap, which feels slippery when it is touched. So once again, uh, acids and bases may be very, very dangerous compounds, but many of them occur in our everyday, day-to-day -day lives with no danger whatsoever. However, both acids and bases are very dangerous whenever they exist in high amounts or high concentrations, because whether we get a, a, a very strong acid or a very strong base on our skin, they can actually cause burns. And basically what acids or bases do, if we have enough of them, is that they actually start to dissolve the molecules that your skin and that your cells are made out of, the same way that water is able to dissolve substances like salt and sugar. Uh, now, is every acid or base going to do this? No, obviously not, which is why we specify that this only happens whenever we have high amounts of a given acid or base. Now, we can measure how dangerous or how safe an acid or base is by using something that we call the pH scale. So the pH scale is a measurement that allows us to measure how acidic acids are, meaning how likely an acid is to burn us, or how basic a base is, which again measures how strongly a base is able to react. So the pH scale works on a 14 point scale where zero is the bottom of the scale and 14 is the top of the scale. So if we start at the bottom of the scale, this is the acidic side of the scale. So if the pH is between zero and a pH of 7, the solution that you're dealing with is more acidic, meaning that the solution has more H+, meaning that more we have more acid in the solution than we have OH-, which again, it tells us that we're dealing with base. However, if the pH is greater than 7, meaning if we have a pH of between 7 and and 14, the solution is defined as basic because the solution has more OH- from base than it has H-plus from acid. Which brings us to the one 
compound that kind of stands out here, which is water. Water is unique because as long as we have pure water, so nothing else dissolved in it, has a pH that is exactly equal to 7. And because it 7 is neither greater than 7 or less than 7, it's equal to 7, water is defined as a neutral compound. Now, the reason why we say that water is neutral and not a base nor an acid is not because water doesn't react at all, but if we look at the structure of water, if we break this bond and give this oxygen an extra pair of electrons, we can see over here that we actually have OH-, and we can see over here that we actually have H+. So the reason why we define water as neutral is not because it acts as neither an acid or a base, but because it has both H plus and OH minus in its structure, that technically means that water is both an acid or a ba and a base at the same time, which is why water is so special among acids and bases. The last thing that we can talk about is what this pH scale, what these numbers actually represent. So we say that the pH scale is what we call a base 10 scale. Sometimes you might hear the word a logarithmic scale, um, although logarithmic is normally a number that we, we would use in mathematics, but you don't need to be particularly good at math in order to understand how the logarithmic scale works. Uh, when we say base 10, what this means is that each value of pH is 10 times stronger than the value previously. So what we what we can use acid as an example. If we have an acidic solution with a pH of 1, uh, with acids, the lower the pH is, the more acidic the solution is. So we can say that a pH of 1 is 10 times more acidic than a pH of 2 because when we go from 7 to 0, we get more acidic. And every time we change pH values, that means that we are increasing how acidic we are by a factor of 10. So a pH of 6 is 10 times more acidic than a pH of 7. A pH of 5 is 10 times more acidic than a pH of 6, and so on, meaning that we can also say, because 10 times 10 is 100, we can say that a pH of 5 is 100 times more acidic than a pH of 7. This is what we mean by a base 10 or logarithmic scale. Now, this is also true with bases, but we need to remember that as we go from a pH of 7 to a pH of 14, we are getting more basic rather than less basic. So the acidity increases as we go down the pH scale and the basicity increases as we go up. So therefore, a pH of 14 is 10 times more basic than a pH of 13 would be. So again, this is how a base 10 scale works. In the next series of videos, we're going to be looking at the different types of chemical reactions, one of which is a type of reaction that involves reacting acids with bases.